This tutorial might be a little bit quick as I've got a lot to cover, uh, so try to follow as best as you can. If you remember in the last video we looked at how to kind of fill out our template for our percentage of completion method. We figure out our costs, our percentage of uh, completion of the job, our revenues for each year, and our gross profit for each year as well. But we didn't actually account for them or create journal entries which are which you might need if you have to account for a long-term contract or if you want to get marks on a test or an exam. So we're going to go through that and like I said down here we are going to be preparing the journal entries uh, for the years. I'm not sure if we'll have time for, for all years but I'll see how much time we can get through or how much stuff we can get through. Um, but we'll be covering billings and collections and revenue and other accounts. So first off uh, percentage of completion. This method has two new accounts which you're going to have to learn. First one is called construction in process and construction in process is an inventory account which is going to keep track of the costs the costs of your your whatever you're building your construction and it's also going to keep track of the gross profits you've accumulated on your contract so two things right there as for there's or I should say there's gonna be a second one uh, which is billings on construction and process and I'm just going to abbreviate that to uh, speed things up and billings on construction and process is going to be a contra inventory account and if you remember contra accounts are just an account that decreases the account that they pertain to so if construction and process is 1 million and billings on complete or billings on construction and process are 500,000 then your balance uh, net will be 500,000 because 1 million minus 500,000 is 500,000. So um, the Contra inventory account will always be underneath the construction in process account in your current assets part of your balance sheet right underneath it. So it'll be construction in process less billions on construction in process. So hopefully you understand that. Let's get to the actual entries. Or actually, before I get to that, I should say the reason why we need uh, this this contra inventory account is because uh, on our balance sheet we're going to record construction in process, and that's going to be an asset for us. So let's say if we have an asset of one million dollars because we've constructed one million dollars worth of costs. Well, if we didn't have the billions on construction and process then we would have an asset worth one million dollars but we don't really have an asset worth a million dollars uh, because of course this asset does not belong to us and it's not going to provide us with future benefit it's this is, belongs to the the customer that we're constructing this asset for what belongs to us is the gross profit or the profit that we'll receive so we need the billions on completion or billings on construction and process I should say um, and that will provide us with just the gross profit and that's going to be uh, left in construction and process so uh, this number is actually a transparent figure as to how much should actually be on our books because if we just had one million then we'd be overstating our assets and we wouldn't be keeping our this inventory account at the net realizable value. Uh, if that was a little bit confusing, just ask any questions in the comment section. I know I'm going through things pretty quickly here. So let's get ahead and talk about 2014. What went on there? So the first part is we have to look at uh, the costs. So the costs incurred in this period are 2,580,000. 2, so uh, our costs go to our inventory account which is construction process so I'm gonna just abbreviate it and say CIP so we're gonna debit construction process and we're gonna debit it for two million 
580,000, which is the number that is right above up here. And the account that's gonna be credited is gonna be accounts payable or cash or some other um, type of liability to pay for the construction goods that we've used. So this is basically to record our costs, or actually I should say to, to re record our assets. So we're just reporting our assets and our costs make up our assets so far. The next part we have to report for the, the receivables. So we're gonna debit accounts receivables. How much are our billions? Well, we have $2 million in billions. So we're gonna have that debited at $2 million. And we'll have billions on construction in process is going to be at $2 million as well so that it balances. And this of course will be our billions entry. And the reason why we have billions on construction and process with accounts receivable is of course it makes more sense to have these two accounts together rather than put uh, billions on construction and process with this entry. Uh, it just makes more sense and it's more relevant because we are constructing an asset and we're paying for it in cash therefore these two accounts should stick together when we make the entry and the billings and the billings contra inventory accounts uh, those two accounts are going to stick together when we report it. The next one is going to be uh, collections. So we've collected two million dollars right up here it says of the two million dollar billions which is pretty good I would say. So we're going to debit cash and credit accounts receivables for two million dollars. I think that one should be pretty straightforward. And that's just a typical collection. And now the last part is we haven't recorded our revenue or expenses. So our expenses, or I'll say construction expenses, construction expenses are going to be are going to be how much? Well, they're going to be uh, the amount that we actually spent on the the asset inventory account so far. So that's going to be two million five hundred and eighty thousand, and we're going to have revenue. On, I'm just gonna say LTC for long-term contract for where's the revenue well if we have if we look over here we see that the revenue is three million five hundred and eighty two thousand so we're gonna report that three million five hundred and eighty two thousand okay but right here it doesn't balance so we need something else we're actually going to need to account for gross profit and a uh, gross profit is actually going to uh, be debited to construction in process so the difference between the revenue and the expenses of is of course going to be the gross profit which is going to be uh, one million two thousand and those are going to be your journal entries for uh, recording the, the asset, recording the billings, the collection, and of course, recording our revenue and matching the expense with it. And you might be wondering, why do we have a gross profit? Or I, I might have said it earlier, I totally forget, but uh, uh, the construction and process, or the gross profit goes through construction and process because if it didn't, if it didn't, uh, then we would have at the end our construction and process account would just be the cost of the building and let's say let's say that's four million dollars and our billings would be 
um, of course, m much greater because we want to generate a profit. So let's say it was $8 million of billings. Well, there would be an issue here because if we wanted to close out the contract, uh, we wouldn't be able to debit billings and then credit construction and process because they wouldn't be the same value. They're different. One is four million, the other one is eight million. So we need to actually we need to actually have gross profit included so that we can close out the contract at the end. So the difference of course would be four million. This doesn't pertain to the question, I'm just giving you an example. And because of this, the gross profit would go to construction and process. Both of these would be construction and process. Um, so in the end, our construction and process balance would be eight million, our billings would be eight million, and then of course we could uh, debit billings, and then we would credit construction and process to close out the contract and get rid of both of those accounts. And if you think about it in just a very practical sense, what are billings? Billings are the or the customer is paying for the construction but they're also paying for your time and for uh, you generating profit so the billings encompass two things they encompass the the costs and actually uh, the service of us creating this um, this condo which of course is like labor so it would make sense that the billings uh, would have to match gross profit and the costs that are accounted in our construction and process account. So hopefully uh, you understood most of that. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe and we'll be talking about, I think, losses in a percentage of completion contract in the next one. See you guys then. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.